Health workers and senior citizens were first in line for the rollout of bivalent jabs today. Mobile journalist Julie Baiza with the story. President Bongbong Marcos graced the launching of bivalent COVID-19 vaccination in the country at the Philippine Heart Center in Quezon City this morning. Earlier this month, around 390,000 doses of these jobs arrived in the Philippines, donated by the Lithuanian government. In his speech, Marcos Jr. encouraged the Department of Health to continue its mandate in protecting Filipinos against the COVID-19 now that new variants have emerged. Those, that, that vulnerable group are those with severe comorbidities and with those who have uh, who are a little on the, uh, senior uh, senior uh, se our senior citizens so all of this and so we must not let our guard down uh, although we in the rest of the uh, the rest of society the other sectors of our society that uh, uh, have tried to move on and say this the emergency is over and certainly, in a way, we can certainly we can say say that that is the case. However, uh, it is not over completely, and that is why we should not be complacent. Health Secretary Ted Herbosa reiterates that the bivalent vaccine protects against both the original stain of COVID-19 and Omicron variants, including the new FE.1 COVID-19 subvariant. This is still Omicron, and uh, nilagay na yung Omicron dun sa bivalent vaccine, mayro namang cross immunity yan kasi yung, yung mga uh, antigens pareho lang even if it's a different subvariant at hindi may hihinto yan. Herbosa got his bivalent COVID-19 vaccine today, becoming the first recipient in the national capital region of the job. So far, 108,000 doses of bivalent vaccines were distributed in Metro Manila, while around 282,000 went to different provinces. Negotiations are ongoing for additional supplies. Meron akong nadidinig na uh, 2 million in negotiation. 2 million doses in negotiation. I cannot tell you the date yet, but we're waiting for that. Uh, COVAX will help us get that 2 million. Mobile journalist Julie Baiza, We Are One News.